Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Into the Breach. Uh, as you may recall, in the last episode we finished up Island 1 and upgraded something, right? What did we do? We gave this building chain, we gave him extra move, and uh, buildings are now immune to artillery fire. Great. So we're going to go do the second island. So these guys are like terraformer kind of people. Uh, you won't find me as gullible as my department heads. Whatever time traveler nonsense you claim, it's your firepower we need. All right, so they don't believe us, but who cares? We just want to blow up a bunch of bad guys. Uh, I don't know. We're at full grid power. That's good. I remember there was some issue on the first mission. Yeah, that's right. First mission was rough. The ones after that went okay. Um, <clears throat> this is maybe a little bit ambitious, but... Um, This is a good approach. And you get this down to here where we could pick up the reactor as well. Reactors are very valuable if you can get them, so. Uh, and this doesn't seem too hard to do. Now, it's giving us a grid power, which, you know, we're full. But remember, if you overload your grid, you increase grid defense, which is the chance that a uh, thing that should damage a building ends up not damaging it. So it's fine to get extra power. It's good. Not necessarily as good as, like, getting some other stuff, but it's fine. We'll go here. Uh, yep. Don't take a bunch of mech damage. We usually don't. A very, like, flat, symmetrical structure. I thought these maps were randomly generated, but this one looks incredibly symmetrical, so maybe they're not. Or maybe it's a coincidence that you never can tell with randomness, as they say. There we go. Okay, remember this guy doesn't have the push anymore. He has a lightning thing. <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna have to... I don't see anything we can do about this guy damaging the city. He's so well protected. Ah, mm, no, yeah. Ah, we can push him forward, push him this direction. But I can't do that. I'd have to fire an artillery shot here, and I can't. So this is just gonna take some damage. There's nothing we can do about it, huh? We can kill this guy easily enough. And, um, here? I don't know, uh... Ah, here's an idea. So, uh, we haven't looked at sand tiles yet. So, when sand is damaged, it turns into smoke. Units in smoke cannot attack or repair. Now this guy is doing a charging attack, where he'll go as far as he can in one direction and damage whatever's there. Um, so what... No, wait, I can't make him... Can I? I can't. I was trying to put some smoke on this tile somehow here, and put this guy on that tile so that he would block the thing and not be able to charge because he's in smoke. But I don't think I can do that. What order do they move in? This guy's first. Which I guess doesn't matter. So, something I was thinking about. Uh, actually, maybe we can just, can we just do four damage to this guy? So, here's this thing I'm thinking. What if we were to shoot this guy in... No. Hang on. I'm doing that. What if we, like, artillery shoot him so that he's here? And then we shoot him with the cannon once. No, that doesn't work.
other order? I can't do the other order. I want to, like... Okay, I, I feel like I'm getting there. Maybe. So what if I do this to push him in this direction, okay? Now he's here, and he's still hitting the building, which is bad. But then I can stand here and shoot him into this mountain, hitting him for two. One uh, from hitting this, from hitting him directly, one from pushing him into the mountain. And then... I can have this guy move, I don't know, say here, and attack both of these guys for two. I think that that actually works. So let's undo these moves, make sure, okay, so we wanna come here, do this. And, no, here. Two damage. Oh, and that, I don't even have to kill him if I don't want to. He was standing on sand. I pushed him onto sand. Killing him still seems like a good play, but I don't have to if I don't want to. For example, I could kill this guy instead. Ah, but since I have four move now, I can move to here and attack both of them. This guy's on sand, so he won't, he won't even dash. It doesn't really matter, but... Alright, so now we do this. Very nice. Okay. Well, he took some damage, but that was, like, on purpose. Right? We wanted to block um, the spawning. Is this guy attacking somewhere? Yeah, he's going in that direction. So... It would be great if we, like, pushed an enemy onto this tile. So that he charges into it. On the other hand, if he does charge into it, he'll push it off of that tile so it's no longer blocking the, um, the spawn. Uh... What if I come here? Yeah, this seems promising. I come here, and we take one damage from, from the thing. But we do this now, pushing these two guys together so that they're both being... Um, so that I can chain lightning them or whatever it's called. Right? Like so. Now I'm standing... What am I doing? We were going to kill this guy, so it's fine. Okay. Uh... So here's the idea, right? We do this. And then... I actually don't want to block this. I want to let some more enemies spawn next turn, I think. Wait, undo. Yeah. So I think if I have three enemies, I should be okay. But what I don't want to do is have a turn where, like, I can't shoot anything because there's no enemies on the screen. And then next turn be like, oh geez, there's a whole lot of enemies on the screen. So we're just going to do this. Jane got promoted. Oh, I forgot. We're blocking a thing here. Yeah, three is fine. I don't want four. I don't know. We'll see. We're committed now, of course. But... Okay, now it's a little bit tough to push this guy so that he's not attacking something. But he's not attacking very, very much. We can just stand in his way if we need to. So, what's the order? This guy's coming first. Ugh. Oh, maybe that's fine? 
attacks for one. Hmm. And he's attacking for like, he's kind of making my life awkward, you know? What if I pushed him onto sand and then blew him up? So that he couldn't attack. That's one way to get rid of him. Um, right? So, like... Problem is, I can't do that? Because <clears throat> what I was thinking was, push him onto this sand by, say, push, shooting him, and then attack him with this guy, right? Was my thinking. Then he won't be able to attack, and that's fine. I could, like, stand here, go here, shoot, attack. That works. But I'm not dealing with this. And that's like attacking the, the uh, emergency batteries, right? So super, super important not to let that happen. Um... So the obvious thing then is to do this, but now I don't have any way to push this guy onto sand anymore. Oh, but, well, I could like stand here, no, yes, and attack here, pushing him down. That also works. But then this mech dies from standing on the, the thing. So that's not great either. That's what I get for uh, blocking a thing, I guess. Um... Hmm. It seems pretty important. So the other thing that occurs to me, of course, is to, like, shoot this guy uh, to get him in the way, right? We would, we would say move over here and then do this. That gets him in the way, but he's going to do his move first, enemy action number one and then number two. So he'd be out of the way if we did that. So that's not a winner. Uh, likewise, we can't just uh, push this guy up here. This this one would get out. Oh! Well, wait a minute. What if I just stand here to stop this guy from moving? Or, say, move down to here so that this guy slams into me, but is in the way of this still. That's an idea, isn't it? If we just, like, stand right here... Then I can kill this guy. Actually, it's better to stand here because then this guy gets killed by this guy. So we stand here. Make sure I've undone all items. We stand here. That takes care of both of these guys. We take a little more damage, but you know, that's life. Uh, then come here and here to do two damage, three damage to this guy. Okay, we found the line. I think this should be all right. Oh, and we can even, since we're not attacking, we can repair. So that one damage doesn't even matter. Great. Look at those suckers. Oh, I didn't realize that guy was there. Well, this guy's not doing anything meaningful. We can just let him get on with his life, you know? All right, so we have uh, we have the win here. It's just a question of, can we kill any of these monsters first? Uh, seems hard. Oh, this guy's attacking for three. Yikes. So it seems like we need to get in his way, because I don't think we can... Well... Actually, I think we could do enough damage to him, right? Well, 
If we like back up to he oh no, because this guy can't move unless someone frees him, and we need someone to free him. Uh, yeah, so someone has to attack this guy. Which means we don't have enough firepower to kill this guy. So we have to move him in to block. So the one freeing this person must be this person, which we can do in the following way. There. And now we'll just repair up again, I guess. And uh, you repair as well. There we go. Not the most glowing performance. Oh, and with less than four mech damage. We took too much damage. That's actually never happened to me before. I forgot it was even a thing I was trying to do. Well, that stinks. Huh. It was really, like, hard to prevent, though. Like, we... Eh. I'm not sure if I could have done anything. Well, I mean... Probably could have like done turn one differently, but I couldn't have done like turn four differently. All right, so this uh, anonymous pilot just gained plus two HP for the mech. Great, good work. Kern's Folly, defend the train, protect the defense lab. Okay. Who is it with extra HP now? I guess it must be... The cannon mech? Yeah. Right. Okay, so let's do this. Why not? So I don't know if we've done a train defense mission before. This, I think we have. This thing moves by two every turn. Um, and we need to not let it crash into stuff. All right, sure. So what kind of scions do they have here? Well, I'm glad no one seems to be attacking any buildings. So this guy says, all other Vec will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Um, so that's like fine, I guess? We just, um... Oh, this person can't push anymore. Holy cow. Look at all the damage we could do. Um... We don't want to do it exactly like that. Because it would hit our friendlies. But... back up to, like, here. It's still not ideal. This one is not attacking. Okay. Oh, they explode on death. Wait, this was the wrong place to have moved to. I see now. But, ugh, ugh. Defend the train, protect the defense lab. Right, so we don't have to care about mech damage this time. So what I'm thinking is back everybody off like this. This is cool, right? Um, and this means we'll still be taking three damage, which is not great. But we can clear the Scion and the Scorpion out. 
and do enough damage that this guy is killed by this guy. I think this is the best I was able to come up with. Um, and then this artillery will, will shoot into the middle here, uh, freeing... Is that best? So what I would like to do is attack the scorpion. But I can't actually do that. There's nowhere to stand where I can attack the scorpion. Um, I could stand here, which I guess is better. No, it's not. Is it? Because, so I could, I could attack like this, which deals one damage to the scorpion, and that'll finish it off after we do the electric attack. But it moves this guy down. Ah, that's actually good, not bad? Yes, I believe that to be the case. It moves this guy down, which means he's no longer attacking here, which is like, quote, bad, right? But, uh, it means that if we stand here, this scorpion will be... Oh, I'm going to be attacking myself with the lightning attack, aren't I? Well, not much to be done about it, I'm afraid. Right, I have to do like this. This is less damage than if we let this guy shoot at us, so I think it's good. Um, we do this. Oops. This. Killing most of these guys. But dealing some damage to our tank. Then we do this. Finishing off the scorpion. And now... This guy's not attacking! I'm such a moron! Oh my god. Well, that... that... Alright. It means that we shouldn't have come up here. Um... So my, my plan that I was trying to, was to say, like, push this guy down, then he'll get hit by this guy, right? But this guy's not attacking. So what could we have done better with this guy? I don't think I've shown you guys yet. We can do a reset turn. So once per battle, you can go back to the start of your turn if you don't like some attacks you've made. Um, so we could do that. And because I don't like having put this guy here and taken two damage for no reason. Um, where could he be instead that would be useful? Good question, right? Um, he started here. There were enemies on all of these squares. So I could put him like here and have him deal one damage to this guy instead of taking two damage himself. That's probably worth resetting for, I guess. So we do this. And we do... This? And this. No, no, that leaves him in range of the electric attack. This. Now the electric attack hits only enemies. Then the artillery attack. And finally, finish this. Not finish him off, but do some more damage to him. Alright. An okay turn one, but not great. Especially since we had to use our reset just to get to okay. So these train missions are always quite short, because uh, the train crosses the screen in three turns, and so the mission is only three turns long instead of four. But there's a lot of enemies. This guy's not doing anything meaningful. This guy's not even attacking at all. Uh, we could finish this guy off by pushing him this way and then lightninging him. Lightninging. Um, this guy we can get some use out of by putting him onto one of these tiles. 
uh, but we wouldn't kill him. I guess that's fine. Because it damages him and, you know, quote-unquote kills whatever monster would otherwise have appeared. Uh, well, let's do that second. Let's do this first. Now, does it matter which... Yes, we can't put... We can't shoot here, because there's nowhere we can stand that shoots there that is not awful. So we come here and fire off like that. Fuck! <laughs> Got him! All right. Ugh. Okay, we'll, we'll probably be fine, but uh, that's not how I wanted that to go. It's easy to, like, get, uh, think about things oversimplified, like, um, I just need to make this guy not shoot here, and that was easy, but I didn't think about where he would be shooting instead, and that turned out to be pretty important. <laughs> oh, boy. Holy cow, that train is in bad shape. How do I prevent all of those attacks? I I just don't think I can do that. Um. Well, this guy. Oh, I totally can't. Um. First of all, okay, yeah. So lightning attack out of the question. Don't do that. Uh. So I'm no longer so confident that I can. But something to consider. Watch what would happen if I were to do an artillery attack. We do one damage to this guy, which is a good start. Um, and importantly, push this guy down here, where I thought until a moment ago, he would then charge pushing this guy out of the way, right? Uh, but no dice, because he would be in smoke. So that's uh, not really gonna work either. Um, So, uh, this train has... you can't tell, but uh, it, it looks like there's two stars and you get either like two or zero, depending on whether they attack the train. But the first time they attack the train, it just becomes damaged so that it can't move, and it's still worth one star. And if they hit it again, you get zero stars. So... If we can manage to push two of these guys off, that's still something. It's, it's better than not doing anything. Um, the thing is, like, can we do that? And the answer looks like no. Believe it or not. And there's this guy to deal with as well, of course, but given that we can't, like, electrify a bunch of these guys, the obvious solution is to, to do this, right? Um, these guys are just packed in so close. Oh, well... So I guess this is sort of a different way to solve this problem. It gets this guy off of the train and puts him over here, right? Uh, he would take three damage from uh, being shot by this guy. But it still wouldn't kill him. Ah, but it would turn this tile to sand, meaning he wouldn't attack. So if I do this attack, that neutralizes both of these guys, which is kind of interesting. Um, then I can come down here and push this guy uh, to here, neutralizing him. And in the end, we just get the train attacked by this one dude. Still not great.
but the best I've been able to come up with uh, as far as ways to get rid of these guys attacking the train, right? I think I have to do that. Yeah, this guy attacks first, turning this into sand, and then this guy won't attack. Yep, that's my plan. What am I doing with this guy? Nothing, I think. Still nothing to do with this guy. I could come up here and kill this guy, but that's bad. It would allow this guy to attack the building, which I do not want. So I think I'll just repair. Why was the train's path interrupted? It could have been destroyed. My engineers say it's recoverable, but we can't afford to have it idle for repairs. There you go. So we got we got two stars worth of stuff, you know, in a way, as good as if we had perfected one of these. Hmm, it's not nothing. And we got a reactor core. One of the few things you can use right away. Uh, where would I like it? We could re-enable this dash. That seems like the winner. Or this Titan Fist, I should say. Because having, having pushes available is, like, super good. We we wanted some of those in the last uh, battle there. Cool. Um, so we've done two missions, and you get to do four before the thing clears up. And it's been half an hour, so I think this is a fine time to take a break. And then uh, we'll try to finish up the island next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.